everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I get my sleek, straight hair. In almost every single one of my videos, I get a sweet comment about my hair and how you guys want to see a hair care routine. And I definitely want to film that soon, but before that I wanted to make sure to post a video on how I straighten my hair because I feel like the main reason my hair looks, I guess, the way it does is because I straighten my hair not every day, but it's usually straight every single day, and I feel like it just looks a lot healthier when it's like this. I feel like it looks a lot longer, and it's a lot shinier, so this is definitely a big reason why my hair looks the way it does. So I wanted to share my tips and tricks with you guys of how I get my hair straight and how I make it last. I do want to mention that when I do straighten my hair, it usually lasts me around four to five days. Um, my hair doesn't really get greasy very quickly, so it'll basically be like this for the next five days whenever I decide to wash it. So before we get into this video, if you guys like me and you like my channel, then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I would love to have you guys here. So yeah, enough rambling. Without further ado, if you guys want to see how I get my sleek, straight, shiny hair, then please keep watching. So this is typically what my hair looks like when it is natural. Um, this is not it blow dried, this is just it simply air dried. I think that part of the reason my hair has gotten so long is because I never blow dry my hair. I always wash my hair at nighttime and then I will wake up the next morning and then straighten it. When you blow dry your hair, you're basically doubling the amount of heat that you're putting on your hair. It's going to break the ends of your hair. So as little heat as you could possibly use is probably the best. I actually found that my hair is a lot straighter when I just let it air dry and then go in with the straightener as opposed to blow drying it first. This is just the easiest way for me to style my hair because Again, I can just straighten it one day of the week and it'll basically almost last me the entire week. And I can just wake up in the morning, brush my hair, and I look put together. So I'm just going to get into the tools that we're going to be using for today. So the first thing I'm going to be using is my Conair hair straightener. This is the Infinity Pro by Conair. And it just looks like this. I got this from Target. I want to say it was under $20. I'm really not sure, but I remember it was pretty, pretty cheap. And I like this more than any cheese hair straightener that I've ever had. I think that this is one of the best hair straighteners that I've owned. And it's lasted me quite a while. It has like a little dial on the side here so you can change the temperature. It goes from like 1 to 25 and I have mine at 25. So I have mine on the highest setting. So that's the hair straightener I use. And then I'm going to be using the Pantene heat protection spray. It's super important to use a heat protection spray. I cannot stress it enough. It is so bad and damaging for your hair to not use a heat protectant spray. So anytime you're blow drying, curling, straightening, etc. your hair, always make sure you get a good heat protectant. I love this one. And then obviously we're going to be needing a brush, a comb, and any hair clips you have. These are just two different kinds of hair clips I use. Any hair clips work for this, but we are going to be parting our hair. So firstly, I'm just going to start by brushing my hair. I usually brush my hair from the ends up because, again, this creates less breakage on your hair. So I'm just going to brush my hair through. Oh, and by the way, the brush that I use is a wet brush. If you have long hair or any hair, honestly, and you do not have a wet brush, you need to get yourself a wet brush because these things are life-changing. So I'm just going to continue brushing my hair through. And it's important to brush your hair first because if you don't, you're going to have knots in your hair and you don't want to crimp the knots into place. You want to make sure all of your hair is smoothed down. So after my hair is all brushed through, I'm just going to go in with my heat protectant spray and I'm going to spray all of my hair with this. It's not open. <laughs> I'm going to mainly focus on the ends of my hair because the ends are obviously what break the fastest, but I'm also going to make sure to spray this throughout all of my hair. And once it's all sprayed through, I'm just going to brush my hair to evenly distribute the heat protectant spray. Okay, so after my hair is all brushed through, I'm going to begin by parting my hair into sections. Um, some people think this takes longer, but I personally think it makes the process faster because you can really make sure that you straighten each piece of your hair individually. 
So I'm just going to kind of run my fingers. This is easier if you have nails, but if you don't, you can always use a brush. But I'm just going to take my nails and start at the top of my ear, and I'm going to make my way back and split this part of my hair and leave the bottom part down. And then once I have this hair grabbed, I'm just gonna twist it and make a little bun at the top of my head and clip it off with a hair clip. So I split my hair into two down the middle in the back and brought both sides in front of my shoulders. So I'm just gonna grab this small piece in the back here and with my comb, I'm gonna hold it in the back of the piece of hair and I'm going to run the straightener behind it. So I find that using the comb to brush through it as you go also helps in getting pin straight hair. And this is just the easiest way for me to because the pieces of hair do get really hot as you're straightening them. So I just wanna make sure that I'm not burning my hand in the process. In some points, I will not hold the comb and I will just hold my hair at a nice grip and I'll go into the roots and really just focus on the roots of my hair because more towards the scalp of my head my hair tends to get a bit more curly so I'm just gonna really focus there and then run the straightener down and bring the comb in and brush it through and then once the sections done I like to bring that whole section back to the front and I'll just kind of straighten them all through one more time all together. So I'm gonna move on to this next side and I'm gonna do the same thing. And then once both sides are straight and I kind of like to go into the back and I'll kind of just pick up a piece in the middle back like this and I will straighten it kind of back to make sure that I get all of the back pieces. So I'm just gonna repeat the same process. I'm gonna take down this part of my hair and I'm going to split another section down. This one taking up a little bit higher and I'm going to drop it and then twist this piece up and clip it to make sure it's out of the way. And I like to leave the straightened hair in the back. That way it doesn't get mixed in with the hair that's not straight that I need to straighten. So you really wanna make sure you section off the back pieces first. That way you can really go into the scalp where it's a little bit more curly and you can really get into those parts and straighten them. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the footage because I'm basically just doing the same thing over and over again. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to come back and slow it down once I get more towards the top pieces of my hair. So I'm just going to go ahead and take down the top pieces right here. This is the last portion of hair we have to do. Obviously, it's not a very fast process for me, but again, it does last me a few days. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the back side of this comb. I'm going to make a straight middle part down the center of my hair. So I usually part my hair down the middle when I'm straightening it because I find that if I part my hair on the side where I usually have it and straighten it, my hair ends up really, really flat. But if I part it down the middle and then let it sit like that for a few minutes and then kind of flip my hair around and then put it on the part that I want it to be, it'll be a lot more voluminous. Now, this is probably the part of my hair that I spend the most time on because this is the part that most people are going to see. If any parts are curly, it's gonna be super visible as opposed to the parts that are underneath. So I'm just gonna take this part and I'm going to pull and straighten the roots of my hair and then again, bring it down and comb through.
I usually have the most trouble straightening the back pieces, so if you have a sister or mom or even brother who can help you get the back pieces of your hair, even just look and tell you if you have any back pieces that are curly, I definitely recommend doing that because obviously we can't see the back of our heads, so it's a lot easier to have somebody help you out and let you know what's going on back there. And I kind of just run my fingers through my hair and straighten it all through one last time. I know it's a lot of going over pieces, but this is what I do to get my hair perfectly straight. If you don't go over it this many times, at least for me, it won't be as pin straight as I would like it to be. So my hair obviously looks a little bit crazy up here because this is not my natural part. But while it sits and cools down for a little bit, I'm going to use the Mitch Stone Luster Drops, and this step is totally optional. You do not have to do this, but this is what I like to do to keep my hair shiny and keep the ends smooth. So a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. I'm just going to squirt the littlest bit into my hand, like this much, if you can see. And I'm just going to run it through my fingers, and I'm just going to kind of run it towards the bottom of my hair. I'm just going to massage my scalp a little bit, shake it, make it a little bit more voluminous, and then I'm just going to part it the way I usually do. So that is how I straighten my hair. I hope this video helped any of you guys. I know that straightening your hair is kind of a given and kind of simple, but there are those of us out there who like to know a few little extra tips and tricks to getting perfectly sleek straight hair. So I hope that helped those of you who were looking for those. If you guys wanna see a more in-depth hair care routine, then definitely give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below. So yeah, I think that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching again and I hope to see you guys next time.